Binge the full week ad free over patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. This is my top five time loop movies. Uh, it seems like there are so many movies with the kind of time loop premise coming out. Uh, and I've talked about a few of them recently. Uh, and I wanted to just do a deep dive into this kind of new genre that's really sprouting uh, out in the kind of the movie movie trends, I guess you could call it. So I watched a ton of movies, which hopefully I will be able to, at the end of this list, give you some honorable mentions. Because I watched probably close to 20 movies, 15 movies, to prepare for this top five list. So let's get it started with the top five time loop movies according to me starting with number five repeaters this is a a movie that i'd never heard of uh i mean there's a lot of movies that i had never heard of or just didn't know that they had time loop in them uh, a time loop premise to it uh this one is a little bit different than most though it, it it is uh three young adults in a rehab uh, that wake up one morning and uh, they pr- they're starting to basically they live the same day over and over, which is basically the time loop uh, idea is some are slightly different than others. We'll take that premise and and stretch it out a bit. But uh, in this one, it's three young adults in rehab, two men, one woman who are, uh, you know, in the process of recovering from uh, drugs and alcohol. And uh, they realize that they- they're starting to repeat the days And what they do with that is they go down the negative path of, uh, well, if, you know, they're they're all addicts, so why not just get fucked up, cause crimes, do things like that. Uh, But this one takes the premise as uh, the characters are like, you don't know when this is going to stop. We're not going to wake up every morning because one of them is is going a little bit deeper into the crime than the other ones. And, you know, involving, like, killing people. is like, don't worry about it. We'll wake up tomorrow. It'll all be fine. It's like, but what if we don't? And that's kind of the, the premise. And eventually, they just wake up and it's Wednesday. Um, but it's great. It's, it takes this premise because so many of them are kind of doing a similar thing where they're just like, oh, I'm trying to be the best. Um, and this one really shows kind of that negative. And it also shows, it's one of the few where, people involved in the time loop are concerned with you know what if i die and this is you know i don't wake up like it's not guaranteed that they're going to wake up for another loop uh so it was interesting i because it took it from a different angle i added it to number five uh and the number five spot was the biggest spot that that's why i watched most of the movies because i didn't really know what i was going to put in number five but let's move on to the the more predictable choices for myself Moving on to number four in my top five time loop movies, the recently released Palm Springs, which is a movie which title refers to nothing in this in this movie. Uh, I mean, there's supposedly Palm Springs, the location which I live you know, about 30 minutes from. Uh, there's no aspect of Palm Springs that is featured at all in this movie, uh, but it is a fun movie. It is a comedy film where it you know it kind of explains what how the time loop started um it does have parts of the desert that are not palm springs like joshua tree and things like that that are you know featured in this movie which is fun uh but it's a fun movie you know kind of a romantic comedy uh of you know which there's a few romantic comedies in the genre uh but i really enjoyed it i thought it was fun it really it really played around with you know, the characters having fun with the time loop, which not all time loop uh, movies do, and not all time loop movies uh, have the same type of fun, uh, like repeaters, which is more criminal fun. Palm Springs, you know, just kind of understanding people and, and you know, enjoying the life. But then it's also got the, the, the added angle of not only a, a romantic uh, other, uh, romantic, you know, kind of uh, uh, aspect of the movie, but it's also kind of uh, a third person who who seeks revenge, which is interesting as well. Uh, but yeah, Palm Springs, number four, a lot of fun, really, really cool. Uh, just, I think it was like the second time I had seen uh, a film with time loop in it that I, I really liked. Uh, 
Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I take that back. Third time. Uh, now, moving on to number three, my number three time loop movie recently released, even more recently released. I mean, Palm Springs came out early pandemic, which I think also aided in its popularity, but also fun characters, fun actors. Uh, but number three in my top five is Boss Level, new movie from Hulu, uh, really fun action movie. Uh, you have so it has elements that are similar to like video games. It has themes that are, are comparable to people who study jujitsu and martial arts and just understanding how to get good at things. Uh, it's got some heart in it with a father son segment where he just kind of he finds a way to avoid all the violence in the this repeating day and uh is able to just kind of take a, a large chunk of days and time to spend with his son to get to know his son just a ton of a heart there um but just a, a really fun action movie an action movie that has a lot of different things going on fun characters uh you know mel gibson plays you know a great bad guy uh you know fits his uh real life personality in some ways uh, but just a really fun action movie that I have rewatched uh, a bunch of times. Same thing with Palm Springs. I've rewatched that a bunch of times. I think the time loop movie genre in general lends itself to repeat watchings because you will see it differently, especially for some of them that are a little bit more layered uh, than others, which uh, I don't know how many of these are necessarily. But uh, boss level coming in at number three. Moving on now to my number two time loop film of all time is live die repeat edge of tomorrow a movie that came out with the title edge of tomorrow in theaters i believe it did horribly uh this is tom cruise is in this movie action war sci-fi movie um came out as edge of tomorrow when it got released on video on demand or on video uh it was live die repeat they changed they swapped the title made edge of tomorrow tomorrow the the uh the subtitle and uh a movie that i think it's a lot of fun i rewatched this last night uh in addition to the the 15 other movies that i've been watching and uh you know just tom cruise's performance is great uh the the action scenes are amazing you know them fighting these aliens and the kind of the the explanation for the Time loop is a very interesting explanation. The kind of getting good at something uh, is very similar in a lot of ways to boss level. Uh, the frustration of trying to teach somebody while you are, while they are not, they don't have the the advantage of being able to remember from day to day. Uh, just a, a great kind of a really great movie, and it's a movie that I I had kind of forgotten scenes. There are some scenes in this movie that are crazy and the the end of this film is crazy uh super stressful i really enjoyed it it, it, it like i enjoyed it so much boss level was going to be my number two and then i rewatched live die repeat i'm like well i mean boss level's great and all and in the long term maybe boss level will be more rewatchable uh but live die repeat is just such a solid movie so good uh, I really enjoyed it. The performances are great. The story's great. The way they use the time loop. Uh, he basically, in battle, dies with the blood of a certain type of alien on him. And that alien is engineered to restart time when they get killed. Uh, so because he, he got that blood in him, it, he, every time he dies, it restarts time. Um, and it's a way for the enemy to, every time that you know, one of those alphas get killed. I think they were called alphas. Every time they got killed and they restart, it was the enemy relearning how to beat the the humans. Uh, so super interesting premise. Uh, really well executed. I liked so much of it. Um, it doesn't really have as much of that playing around uh, with the time loop stuff. There's not a lot of fun to be had because they are trying to save the world from an alien invasion. Uh, but it is kind of that nonstop... No, also, not not only nonstop action, but it's also got the heart of like this love story that that grows when you know you spend so much time and you see somebody die so many times in front of you. 
you know, you, you start to form a different bond. And just Tom Cruise's performance and how he looks at at, at her and, and you know, it, just everything. It, it's so good. I, I, every aspect of that movie. Uh, maybe there's a few things that aren't as good, but I really enjoyed uh, Live, Die, Repeat. So that's why it is my number two. And my number one, if you couldn't have guessed is the OG classic. I don't know if it, I think there's an older movie that involves time loop that I didn't get to. Uh, but Groundhog Day is the pinnacle of the genre. In my opinion, it invented it. It does it so well. You know, the character moments, there's so many quotable moments. You get to see Bill Murray probably at his best uh you get to see him living all kinds of different types of lives you get to see the depression of you know being stuck in a time loop you get to see you know it's got a little bit of the heart the the love the romance uh you know you get to see him fall in love with the people of the town uh but yeah it is the the kind of the quintessential uh time loop movie is Groundhog's Day. I mean, people generally will refer to time loop movies as uh, Groundhog Day type movies because it is the gold standard, I would say, uh, as far as uh, the time loop movies go. Now, there's some that I, you know, that are probably better than Groundhog Day, maybe, but for me, ground there's no way Groundhog Day is getting knocked off of this top spot. Um, is, is pretty much the easiest number one I've ever had to think of. Uh, but yeah, Groundhog Day, the classic time loop movie. Um, and it, you know, it's just, it's so much fun. It's just so much fun. Uh, what a great genre of films to, to check out now, some honorable mentions. Let me do, uh, let me go through my list real quick. I'll do some honorable mentions and then I'll do the list one more time. Uh, but my number five is repeaters. Number four is Palm Springs. Number three, Boss Level. Number two, Live, Die, Repeat. And number one is Groundhog Day. Now, some other movies that I've watched that I would recommend, which are fun in this genre, Before I Fall, Happy Death Day. Uh, Happy Death Day to you isn't as good, but the first one is a lot of fun. Happy Death Day. Uh, Source Code, Blood Punch, uh, which is kind of a fun indie one. Uh, The Endless, a really interesting way to it, endless kind of changes the premise in some ways. Uh, Game Over is an Indian film. Uh, Arc A R Q is uh, a really good one actually. That one almost bumped off uh, repeaters. And then Triangle, which is a uh, kind of a crazy horror time loop movie, but the uh, the main character is just repugnant, uh, and you don't find out how repugnant till the very end, and uh, it just makes me regret watching the movie. But Interesting way to do the time loop movie anyway on Triangle. Uh, one more time, my top five time loop movies are number five, Repeaters. Number four, Palm Springs. Number three, Boss Level. Number two, Live, Die, Repeat. Number one, Groundhog Day. Let me know what your favorite time loop movies are in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Let me know where I'm wrong, where I'm right, or recommend any movies that I may have missed. Go get yourself some amazing coffee from our friends over at StationHouseCoffee.com. Follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. But make sure you order yourself some small batch, single origin, premium coffee brewed in Thetford Center, Vermont. Shipped directly to you, no matter where you are. Uh, just hit them up over at StationHouseCoffee.com. Give them a follow, Station House Coffee on Instagram, and get yourself some of the best coffee on the planet Earth. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace out!